Welcome back to another SCP reading, dear researchers. Today we'll be reading SCP-264, Skeleton Temple. Now without further ado, item number SCP-264, object class, safe. Special containment procedures. SCP-264 is to be contained in a 16 by 16 meter room of standard reinforcement. Two guards are to be stationed outside of this room at all times, circulated every 24 hours. The room is to be monitored every day for a minimum of two hours. SCP-264 requires no nourishment of any type. No support is necessary either, as SCP-264 suspends itself through an unknown source of levitation. Note, as of a redacted date in the 2000s, only agents, redacted, redacted, deceased, redacted, and doctor, redacted, are permitted to visit SCP-264. Failure to comply will result in reassignment pending transgressor's condition. See Addendum 264-01. SCP-264 has noted previously some attachment to the aforementioned agents, as they were part of the team that originally discovered data expunged. In addition, both agents, redacted, and redacted, were on location during data expunged. Suggest keeping them on site until further notice. Dr. Carnival. Description. SCP-264 is a skeleton of humanoid appearance estimated at two meters in height. Its skull is slightly elongated and two metal protrusions extend from either kneecap. SCP-264's torso and upper pelvis have either been replaced by, or consist of, a structure composed of an unknown metallic substance that resembles a temple of unknown origin. The structure is composed of several layers of balconies and terraces, with a door located at the approximate center. On the structure are dozens of carved statues that resemble men, women, children, and in a few cases, animals. Statues are unable to be removed, although they appear to go about the standard activities of any tribal culture when not being viewed directly. The structure and skeleton seem to either have been mounted upon, or are part of, a hemisphere just over one meter in diameter composed of what appears to be the same unknown material. The edge of the hemisphere is aligned with evenly spaced spikes about 2.5 centimeters or 1 inch in length. Several of the statues have been seen interacting with the sphere in various ways and seem to be aware of its existence. The backside of the hemisphere is covered in carvings of several languages, including Arabic, Hebrew, German, and Redacted. Translation of the redacted language has been suspended indefinitely due to data expunged. See Addendum 264-02. SCP-264 is sentient, communicating through several nonverbal forms, including Japanese, Taiwanese, Korean Sign Language, and Morse code. It is most frequently recorded communicating through writing, however, and has been noted writing in nearly every language currently discovered, including the redacted language. On rare occasions, a designated statue will speak for the SCP. There have been only two recorded instances of this happening since its discovery. Subject refers to itself as the Guardian, and refers to the carved statues as separate entities. SCP-264 claims to be the creator of the statues, and the structure they live in. The statues appear to be aware of the Guardian's existence, as they have been observed retrieving several objects from the interior of the hemisphere, where it is presumed the structure expands. Objects retrieved from the interior include a stick of charcoal, papyrus, SCP redacted, and a small semi-transparent marble of data expunged which was presented to Agent Redacted by one of the statuettes. How SCP-264 is capable of communicating with its 
subjects is currently unknown, as neither it nor the statues emit any form of psychic readout. However, SCP-264 has alluded to having abilities of precognition, taken from interview 264-A. SCP-264 I saw what would happen to the doctor as easily as you see me and my people now. Dr. Carnival And how exactly did you manage to do that? SCP-264 I trace the threads of fate. SCP-264 refused to elaborate on what it meant. However, it can be assumed that through some unknown force, SCP-264 is able to view the path a person may take through the course of their life. SCP-264 has proven to have knowledge of several other SCPs currently contained, including SCP-035, SCP-Redacted, and SCP-Redacted. See Interview 264-A. Addendum 264-01 Due to the actions on 0610, date redacted in the 2000s, in which Dr. Redacted and the civilian Redacted data expunged, SCP-264 will allow only the aforementioned agents to converse with it. Following data expunged, Dr. Redacted entered SCP-264's cell to perform several experiments with one of the statues, at 0200, data expunged. Several hours later, a previously unseen statue was viewed emerging from the doorway located at SCP-264's center. Close-up imaging proved the statue to be a likeness of Dr. Redacted. Addendum 264-02, data expunged. Note, the next stages of exploration have been enacted upon today. A fiberscope has been inserted into the doorway located at what we're guessing is the center of 264. With its permission, of course, can't have any more assistance lost to rudeness. For the most part, the view was nil. Image was distorted. Some property of 264 is interfering with the camera. Though, of course, it can't give any insight as to what causes this to happen. The phrase Shion na yarai, inscribed on the inside of the hemisphere it's mounted on, was all we found. The Japanese translates to salt armor. Though what this means we're still at a loss for. However, it does confirm our suspicions that 264 is Japanese, or at least Asian, in origin despite where it was discovered. Further exploration scheduled for 11.6. Dr. Carnival. And now that I've butchered the Japanese language, thank you very much for coming, dear researchers. It has been an honor reading for you. Good luck out there, and I hope to see you all next time.